so hello viewers welcome once again to my youtube channel and in succession to the videos what i have been taking up in general medicine so today's topic of the discussion is about the hypothyroidism the word itself is suggesting that in hypothyroidism there is deficient there is deficiency of thyroid hormones and particularly there are two thyroid hormones that is t3 and t4 which is t3 is the triiodothyronin and t4 is the tetraiodothyronin so actually just in cases of hypothyroidism what it has been seen that either there is inadequate release of the thyroid hormones or there is defective synthesis of the thyroid hormones which is giving rise to the clinical signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism so actually this hypothyroidism can be broadly subdivided into two categories firstly either it can occur in children it is it can be a congenital condition that the children is born with uh, this congenital deficiency of this thyroid hormone so either it can be present in children in such a situation it is called as cretinism apart from this if this condition of hypothyroidism it is manifesting in adults so this situation is called as mixodema and in both these situations there is decreased level of circulating thyroid hormones in the blood so this video will be mainly focusing upon a uh, important condition that when the thyroid hormones are deficient in circulation in adults the situation it is called as mixodema so in this video will be mainly focusing upon the clinical features the clinical signs and symptoms what are associated with mixodema so when we look at mixodema so in situations of hypothyroidism what is mostly seen just because the thyroid hormones are deficient so actually that is going to cause a decrease in the basal metabolic rate so once the basal metabolic metabolism of the body is decreased that is the basal metabolic rate is decreased what do we find is the person cannot experience the can cannot have tolerance towards cold so the patient becomes cold intolerant and when we look at the general clinical symptoms so in general clinical symptoms what do we observe is that their patient is having tiredness the symptoms of tiredness is there and there is a condition what is called as somnolescence so in situations of somnolescence what do we find is that their patient is having a prolonged period of enough a feeling of drowsiness or sleepiness the patient can have uh, the patient can have this kind of a feeling apart from this there is abnormal subcutaneous um, deposition of mucinous material so either the subcutaneous the mucinous material gets deposited in the supraclavicular region so there is abnormal rounding of the shoulders apart from this at the back side of the hands and feet there is supra this uh, deposition of this mucinous material is there and the back side of the hands and feet they are going to have a puffy appearance either also in the subclavicular region that is above the clavicle also the shoulders are more rounded off just because there is deposition of this mucinous uh, mucinous material and the edema the puffiness what is seen this puffiness it is a kind of a non-pitting puffiness so non-pitting edema it is mostly seen apart from this when we look at the skin so such patients who are suffering from this mixodema in hypothyroidism what do we find is just mixodema is going to cause the patient having a very coarse skin apart from this the hairs of the patient is also having a coarse appearance and there is swelling of the hands and face apart from this the the patient is going to have coarse features and there is abnormal rounding of face which can be seen in the form of a moon face and when we look at the cardiac symptoms so actually such since with the basal metabolic rate has gone down excessively so this the patient of uh, this mixodema is representing the most when it comes to the examination investigations the there is bradycardia so there is decreased heart rate of such patients and the coarse dry skin the puffiness of the face and hands and feet apart from this there is swelling in the supraclavicular region and in the neck region and in when we look at the neuromuscular functions so in the neuromuscular features the patient may complain of pains and aches apart from this there can be stiffness of joints as well as muscle cramps can be seen in such patients when we look at the 
reproductive system so actually during the condition of hypothyroidism what do we see that such patients who are suffering from this myxodema they have a alteration in the reproductive fertility as well and that can be either one of the causes for their infertility the menorrhagia that is they can have painful menstrual cycle they can have hyperprolactinemia and galactoria when we look at the uh, gastrointestinal symptoms so in the clinical features when we look at the gastrointestinal symptoms what do we find is that there is actually constipation the patient can have and the symptoms of ascites can also be seen in the clinical manifestations of this myxodema or apart from this when we look at the uh, when we look at the facial features so there can be abnormal thickening of the lips of the patient there is coarsening of the facial features when we look at the voice of the patient the patient may have hoarse voice that uh, with the, just because of hypothyroidism decreasing decreased the levels of thyroxine in the blood the patient is going to have a hoarse voice and this is hoarseness of voice is present apart from this when we look at the um, symptoms such as sweating the patient is very intolerant towards cold so there is decreased sweating in such patients and apart from this when we look at the developmental defects so actually in such patients what do we see is that there is decreased uh, growth and apart from this the thyroid hormones is very important for the uh, proper development of the brain so there can be mental retardation also being associated to it so when we go for the investigations in investigations what do we find is that the levels of t3 and t4 the most important thyroid hormone that is the active form of the hormone is t3 so the levels of t3 and t4 is reduced in the blood apart from this when we look at the serum creatinine level so serum creatinine level is increased the serum cholesterol level is increased the basal metabolic rate of the body is low and the iodine uptake by the thyroid gland is poor so when we look at the management of this myxodema in such a situation it's very important to maintain the proper ventilation and apart from the proper ventilation along with such patients needs to be having a proper balance of the electrolyte balance so electrolyte balance is to be very much maintained apart from this since the patients are very much intolerant towards cold so they can be given warming the principle of the treatment for myxodema in such cases of hypothyroidism is to restore the deficient thyroid hormones in the blood level so actually the medication what is being given for treatment of myxodema it the tablet what comes in the form it is the eltroxin so this eltroxin tablet is given in the dosage of 0.05 mg to 1 mg and the drug is going to manifest its effects after a week once the uh, drug is being taken orally so actually the uh, the sign the drug should be started it is in small doses and usually it takes a period of time of a one week to give the proper results apart from this it is better to uh, give such drugs in the morning hours just to obviate sleeplessness to obviate the symptoms of sleepness sleeplessness so viewers and students this was a very short discussion where i've tried my level best to give you a simple idea as to what is the hypothyroidism and what are the two types in children it is called as cretinism in adults it is called as myxodema and what are the clinical features what are associated to myxodema apart from it the investigations and the treatment the medication used for it if you still have any queries or comments you are most welcome to comment me in the comment section and viewers who are new to my channel who haven't subscribed subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can be further updated for my upcoming videos thank you for watching